Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and this is the first part of a two video series where I will teach you how I create a portion of our latest promo video that we use for our newest course, React Native for Designers Part 2, which you can find it on designcode.io. So as you can see we are using different animations and transitions, but there is some specific animation that some people were asking, and this is the one. As you can see over here, we have like a small drop that will go down and then it will surround the React logo. After that, we position the logo in this part of the screen, and as you can see on the left, we have some video playing, and on the right we have some text, that this would change you know, by the second. I know you guys are really excited to see how I create this, so let's get it started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create a new composition. So let's go and click New Composition. So we need to create the background. So let's change the name of the composition to Background, and also let's change the width and height of the composition. So I will put 5200 and we will create a square. So the same thing for the height, we'll put 5200. Hit OK and we have our new composition. So now let's enable the title and action save and also the rulers. So we can have some guidelines. I will just put a ruler over here, just in the center. OK, good. And now let's create two different shapes so it can be more easy to visualize the division of the screen. So first I will create a shape and I will just put it until the middle of the composition and I will do the same thing for the right side. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. So now I will change the colors of the shapes so we can see the difference. So for the first one maybe I will put more like a darker purple and for the second one I will choose maybe more like a lighter purple so maybe something like that okay perfect so now let's create a new composition for the animation and let's call it animation we'll keep the same settings let's hit ok and let's drag and drop our background composition to this new composition also let's go to our documents file and we'll find the react icon and let's put it also to the new composition now let's change the scale of the react icon to 60% Okay, just like that. Now let's create a pre-compose of the React icon. So I will right click over there and let's call it icon. Let's hit OK. And let's double click on the pre-compose. And let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, perfect. Finally, let's change the width and height of the composition settings. So let's put for the width 600 and for the height 600 as well. So we can have a perfect square. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to animation. So now we need to create an outline circle. So let's go to the rectangle tool and over there let's choose ellipse tool. Good. Now let's make sure that we don't want any fill and let's put some color to the stroke. Okay, perfect. And let's create the circle. Nice. Maybe we can, you know, reduce the pixels over there. So four is fine. And also let's center the circle. Okay, nice. Now, I will create another circle. Maybe this size is fine. Yeah. Then I will zoom in a little bit so we can align both outlines of the circles. Maybe around here. Yeah. Just move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, exactly. So both outlines are matching now. Nice. Now, I will put the circle to the top of the canvas around here. Yeah. Okay, so the reason that we have this small circle is to use it as a guide because we want to draw a semicircle on top of it. So the first thing we will do is to change its color to red so it can be more visible to us, to any red. And then, you know, we will choose the vector tool and we will put the same color as the React logo. Yeah, let's choose this one. Okay, fine. And let's draw the semicircle. So I will start over here. Good. Then I will go to the top of the circle. And I will try to match it. Okay. Nice. And then I will go to the other side. Okay, perfect. Now we need to draw a straight line. And we'll make it coincide with the outline of the big circle. Just over here. Okay, we click over there. As you can see, uh, maybe we need to move this a little bit to the right. So over here. Okay, nice. 
now it's working good so as you can see we have this new shape so we don't need the small circle anymore we can delete it and let's name again the big circle we'll name it circle one and also let's name the new shape we'll name it line one okay nice okay so we need to add now some trim pads to the line so let's go to the line properties and over there let's click the play button then let's choose trim pads okay nice now let's move the scrubber to the first frame and over there let's open and let's add some keyframes to the start and end okay good now let's do the same and let's move the scrubber to the frame 20 and also let's add some keyframes over there now let's choose the second start keyframe and let's put it to 100 percent okay good and now let's move the scrubber back to the first frame okay over there let's choose the end keyframe and let's put it to zero percent okay nice now let's choose both end keyframes and let's drag it a little bit to the right okay good um, maybe we can drag it a little bit to the right let's watch again the animation okay nice then let's add some easy ease to the keyframes okay good so the animation can be smoother let's do the same thing for the circle so let's select the circle let's click on the play button and let's add some trim pads okay over there i will move the scrubber to the frame 20 yeah nice and i will open the properties of the trim pad so i will click on the stopwatch for start and end now we need to find out where is the offset on the circle to do so i will just play a little bit with the end keyframe and as you can see we can figure out that the offset is on the top of the circle to change that let's put the offset to 90 degrees so we can position it to the right side in the middle now let's put back to zero the end keyframe and let's move the scrubber to the 10th keyframe just over here okay nice now over here let's put to 100% the end keyframe and let's watch the animation yeah maybe we can add some easy ease so we can smooth the animation okay good now let's watch it again sweet now it's looking really good now let me show you something really cool we'll step up a little bit our game and we will beautify our line animation to do so we'll just duplicate the line and the idea here is to create a sort of a comet so we can have line one as the tail of the comet where the stroke will be thinner and line two will be the head of the comet where the stroke will be thicker so let's do that the first thing i will do is to change the size of the line of the stroke to 15 pixels so this will be the head of the comet then i will open the properties and in contents go to shape and choose stroke one and change bad cap for rounded cap okay good now let's close contents then i will press u so we can see all the active keyframes which right now are just the trim pads and i will move the end keyframes a little bit to the left so let's see how the animation is looking yeah i think it's looking really good as you can see we have the head of the comet and also its tail and if we move a little bit yeah then we have like the head you know fading out and also the tail so this is looking really good now we need to do the same thing but for the circle now let's duplicate the circle command c command v and on circle 2 let's press u to see its properties on the print pad let's put the scrubber to the 10th frame and over there let's change the size of the stroke to 15 pixels also let's add a new keyframe okay nice and let's put this to 100 percent okay cool now let's select these two keyframes and let's move it to the right okay nice let's look into the animation yeah, it's looking good but i think we can improve it there is something else that we are missing so let's go back to circle 2 and let's change the style of the caps so let's go to stroke 1 and over there instead of butt caps let's choose round caps so it can have the same style of our comet now let's see our trim pad pressing u so now we need to calibrate the keyframe so just bear with me please you know because i will start doing some try and error so let's move this to the left maybe this to the right a little bit mm, maybe also all of them to the left a little bit more okay over here yeah it's almost there maybe this to the right okay good and this also to the right a little bit maybe this to the right a little bit 
let's see the animation yeah this is looking really good now so the idea here was to make it coincide the animation of the comet with the animation of the circle now let's see again the whole animation and let's see which other details we can add nice it's looking really good so let's look back to this part of the animation and see what else we can add to improve it so maybe we can play a little bit with opacity and scale so let's choose the circle and press T for opacity and let's add a keyframe now let's press S for scale and let's also add a keyframe yeah let's move the scrubber to 2 seconds and 50 frames and let's change the scale from 100 to 140 maybe to 150 yeah let's write 150 good now let's press T again and let's change its opacity from 100 to 0 so like that we'd add a new keyframe okay let's see how it looks like wow it's looking awesome I really love it yeah it's creating a really nice visual sensation now I will recreate the animation where the screen flips 90 degrees to do so I will choose the background and I will press R for the rotation and I will put it 90 degrees as you can see we are not creating a keyframe then I need to choose both icon and background over there I will press P so we can change its position and we'll create a keyframe as well for both of them then I will move the scrubber to the right maybe to 1 second and 70 frames and over there let's add a new keyframe to both of them then I will put the scrubber back to the first keyframe and I will just move a little bit the position so this is a try and error thing as well so please bear with me you know I will just keep moving forward the background and the icon maybe until here and I think it's too much I will just put back a little bit yeah this is wherever you guys feel it looks better so there is not a rule for this so let's move the scrubber a little bit to the right maybe until one second and nine frames and let's add the keyframes over there okay good so let's see the animation yeah perfect and let's move the scrubber to one second 70 frames so let's add some motion to the rotation let's press R and let's add some keyframes so let's move the scrubber a little bit to the right like that we can see where the animation ends and uh, I cannot see anything I will just zoom in so yeah maybe here here is fine so let's keep moving the scrubber and I think the animation ends around here yeah just right here now let's change the position and let's add a new keyframe let's change this for one and over here for zero okay and also the zero for one okay nice so let's look at the whole animation yeah now it's looking really good so we just finished the first part of a two video series if you really like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so you will be aware the moment when we will post new videos. Until then, see you in the next one. Bye.